Good morning! Welcome back to It's a Seago Thing. My name is Erin. This is a family-friendly family friendly channel where we talk about lifestyle, family, and health. Um, you're probably wondering why you're watching this video on a Wednesday. So, um, I thought yesterday was Monday. <laughs> I am so, oh my gosh. So this week, the school district where we live went back to school yesterday being Tuesday. So Monday was a teacher in service day and I'm working every day, but the other part of my job um, started back yesterday on Tuesday in the afternoon and I don't know why but I was convinced that yesterday was Monday Ooh, and um, I'm gonna show you some truth so I am right now doing dishes right here as you guys know and look at that yep that's some truth uh, I have like really hurt my neck um, <clears throat> and it's going on almost two weeks it's really weird. It feels more muscular and I just got finished I'm a little red there. I just got finished putting the heating pad on me um, and it kind of helped a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to try to um, I'm going to try to give it the rest of this week um, by doing heating pad, ibuprofen, Tylenol um, and really just trying to like stretch and whatnot. I'm thinking about going back and seeing uh, my chiropractor, but honestly, I may have to go see a massage therapist. So I am right now doing the dishes because um, the last like day and a half, I, I've just been, I've been basically doing my job and I haven't been doing my job at the house. So, <laughs> so I let the dishes lagged behind the last um, day and a half. So while I'm doing dishes, I will give you guys um, an update. Uh, first, I apologize again for being um, completely absent-minded and I don't even know I, I just I don't even know why I lost my days this week so this week is gonna be a little weird um, I'm actually trying to get everything ready because uh, Sean and I start uh, back training um, to relicense as foster to adopt parents we start our training with Child Protective Services this Saturday and it will be every Saturday for the next six weeks from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, kind of downtown Houston-ish. It's, it's considered downtown, but it's not like downtown proper. <laughs> Which, if any of you guys have ever visited Houston, um, if you do actually live in Houston, downtown is a madhouse. It is crazy. So, uh, but that is actually what we're going to be doing Um really for the next six weeks I'm trying to get all the paperwork ready um, the other update I was gonna give is um, so my bachelor's degree is going really well this spring is probably gonna be a little bit weird I have to actually meet with the college the universe I should say the university I'm going to a community college um, but I'm I'm hoping to meet with the university that I want to transfer to. I'm hoping I can meet with them next week. Um, because next week is when my community college returns back to school. But there's a problem with me trying to register for just one class this spring semester at my community college. So, oh my gosh, it's kind of crazy. So, I've talked to admissions over at my community college. They're advising that I should just transfer over to the university since I have enough credits to do so. And my GPA is really well, or really good. Sorry, <laughs> I've only had one cup of coffee. Maybe I should have two. Um, but my GPA is really good. Um, I meet all the requirements to transfer over except for one class, my math class, which is what I was supposed to take this semester. Um, but for some reason, I'm having a really hard time registering for it. And they've also doubled in the price for the class, which that was something I was trying to bring up to um, financial aid because I opted not to do financial aid. I opted to pay for my class out of pocket because it was just the one class. And when I saw how much it was going to be when I first registered for it, it was fine. We could handle it. Well, somehow over the break, they doubled the cost. And so I'm like, well, that's a lot more than I was, you know, willing and able 
to pay for out of pocket. <laughs> well, unfortunately, financial aid, if you go through FAFSA, um, they don't pay for just, you know, a three hour credit course. <laughs> so my community college is advising me to go ahead, submit my application, pay the administration fee, um, meet with the university and start with them in the summer or possibly the fall and just not attend this spring semester. And I was like, uh, okay. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of, it's, it's all kind of up in the air and kind of a little bit hectic right now. So, you know, say a prayer, put out some good energy. Um, I hope I can meet with the university that I'm hoping to transfer to. I'm hoping I can meet with them next week. We'll see how that goes. So as far as this week goes, I don't know if I'm going to have two videos available for you guys because honestly, um, we are just kind of in a lull right now, which is not, which is not bad. It's, it's good. It's, it's actually a good thing after the holidays and pet sitting and respiting, um, which everything went really well, but it's just weird to be in this kind of lull you know and we're starting to get the house ready for licensing uh which i will kind of take you guys on that journey um i don't know actually actually i may make a video if the product so i had to order some things um to kind of get our house back up to specs uh, because we gave a lot away at the last placement which was fine because one of the things that we do with kids that come into our home if um Obviously, if they're babies and toddlers, they don't really understand, so we'll give as much as we can. But for children, say, four and up, who, you know, obviously are talking more, they're comprehending more, we give them the option of, you know, if you liked this, if you want this to take home, let us know and we'll pack it up for you. Well, um, the last three kids that were in our home, they pretty much wanted everything and we were not sure ourselves if we were going to relicense we were planning on taking a break which we did and it was a really good break to take um, for you foster parents or for you prospective foster parents if you are honestly considering licensing as a foster or adoptive parent i will tell you that when you receive placements and they are reunified um it's it's actually really healthy um, to just take time to decompress um, and and just not receive another placement right after the one that just left. Um, I'm actually glad Sean and I had the time that we did because when we had our respite kid come in, and she's been in here a few times and she'll continue to come in um, because we provide her and uh, her parent respite care just so that her parent is able to I think just have that time um, to, you know, to their, their own kind of personal time. And we get that special time with that little girl, which we love so much. Um, but it kind of helped us be refreshed when we had that Ross, when that, we had that respite case come in and we were able to go do things and interact and engage. And it was just a lot healthier for us. Um, so I did order some things to get the rooms ready, to get the bathroom upstairs ready for the kids, or for, well, for kids. Um, and once I get all of that set up, because I'm now washing linens, comforters, and whatnot, um, once I get that set up, if they actually come in this week, I may be able to make a second video, so who knows, we'll see. Um, but then the next step after we get those items set up and we get the rooms made up and everything, the next step is to I'm not going to show you the room because I think Sean will be embarrassed, but his computer space has kind of, and it has just kind of exploded. <laughs> um, and he's been trying to organize and rearrange and whatnot, um, but we've just allowed that room to lax. Um, when the last placement went home, it just kind of became an in-house storage space. <laughs> not like secondary to our, um, oh my, my hair. Secondary to our garage, um, which our garage is a hot mess. So um, I think at this point we're gonna be working on, uh, if I can point correctly, that room back there. And um, there's this big bulky thing here in the uh, 
I don't even know what you would call this. This little area right here. There's the back door. I don't even know what you would call this area, but basically the the area by the back door. Um, we have our kind of inflatable raft that we brought out during hurricane season uh, to just kind of air that out and just kind of let it breathe because we got that um, after Harvey. I can't remember when. It was after Harvey. Not long. It was a great discount too. Um, <clears throat> that's a whole other story in itself. Um, but we need to put that back because obviously hurricane season is way over. Thank goodness. Um, so basically we're just, we're trying to get the house in order. So we're going to be kind of doing that. I'm going to be doing that a lot um, because Sean is also working on other projects. So it's going to be kind of crazy and we're going to be getting ready for the home study process again, which um, I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm kind of not, you know, there's like, there's like mixed feelings with home studies. You know, this is not the first time we've ever done it. Um, we've been through several now. And so, uh, I, I mean, we know, we know what to expect. I'm just like, I'm always relieved. It's so funny. Like I, what I'm not looking forward to is the, is the preparation for the home study. Once the home study is here and we're meeting with the caseworker and we're going through the interview process and they can ask us 50 million questions, which all is very personal. Um, I'm perfectly fine. I'm like, I, I am the most relaxed, but up until that time, getting ready stresses me to no end because I have to go to every plug in the house, make sure that it's plugged in. I have to like right here, we have to fix that, that broke, which is the same as this. So I have to make sure all of that's ready to go. Um, I know we've still got good, uh, let's see, yeah, our, our uh, fire extinguishers, they're good. And they're actually right where they're supposed to be, which is good. So it's just, it is stressful. Getting your house ready is stressful. I think it's even more stressful when you're a couple like us who do not have children of your own. I think if you have children of your own, whether they're your biological, whether you've already adopted and you're trying to foster to adopt again, you know, I think your house is just kind of already lived in. And for us, it's like, we're gonna be changing things upstairs in one of the rooms. We're gonna actually be, finally after, God, I think almost five years, we're finally gonna be taking down our toddler bed, which is gonna be so crazy to do. I mean, it's not, that's not gonna be hard, it's just gonna be crazy to think about us doing that because we've decided for our age range to be a little bit older this time around. Um, so we're not gonna have a need for a toddler bed and there's, there's mixed emotions about that. It's exciting. It's, um, it's a little sad, I think kind of too. It's, 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 you know, you're letting go of something, but you're also excitedly welcoming in something. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's very different. It's an adventure. Um, I seem to be seeing that a lot in YouTube right now. A lot of the channels that I follow 2019 seems to be, really starting off with new beginnings, new starts, new journeys, new challenges. I did not realize that 2018 was a hard year for many, many, many people. Like I did not know that. Um, so that's kind of interesting to, uh, to observe. All right, guys. Well, this was much, much longer than I actually wanted it to be. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me coming along for the journey. Um, hopefully I will have a second video for you guys this week. If not, I deeply apologize. Um, because the only other video I would make is for an unboxing. Oh, Atlas, I'm going to go outside. Hi, can you say hi? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, what is that doing there? Oh, I must have like a little wind blowing. Got so much lawn work to do. Our lawn crew also was not here when they should have been, so that's fun. So now we've got to like catch up on all that. This is all part of uh, licensing, by the way. This is part of just presenting the outer and inner part of your house. And um, that's another project, my Tupperware. That's another project. We have so many projects. <laughs> Welcome to the new year. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, again, thank you so much. If you have stuck around to the end of this video, uh, you're awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.